Hey folks, I want to take a few minutes to talk about this Pioneer PL630 in near mint condition. So the few cosmetic issues that it does have are very minor. There is um, it's a light scratch to the plinth below the tone arm. There is a very short light scratch here. The um, little uh, scratch you can feel here on the plinth and uh, some very light discoloration, a uh, couple spots on the platter. I'd say really the only thing to note is that at the back, a, um, a security code has been scratched in at the back. So that shouldn't be an issue unless you, uh, you plan to use this in a place where it's, the uh, back is going to uh, be displayed, like say out, out in the open. The, um, the operation is, is, is perfect. So let's take a few minutes to go over that. The, a couple things to note uh, that's special about the um, PL630. One is that it, it's a suspended chassis design. So the tone arm and platter are on a um, uh, suspended chassis, very similar to what you'd see with say a Thorin's or a Lin, but very, very rare for uh, a direct drive turntable. It is fully automatic, but also can be fully manual. So if you take off the um, automatic controls and has a switch for that, um, it's, a, it's fully manual, meaning it doesn't even pick up at the end of the record. It also has a pitch control with, uh, it has quartz lock or pitch control. Uh, so that's selectable. If you turn off the quartz lock, the pitch meter comes up or comes on, lights up, and then it can be adjusted uh, plus or minus six degrees. So another nice feature. Uh, you may want to even run it that way just because that pitch meter looks looks so nice. Not sure if you can see it under the uh, under the bright lights here. So let's uh, let's put on a record. So we cue up, move over very smoothly, cue down very nice and smooth. One thing that's nice about a direct drive is that you can clean your record with a brush. You really notice a discernible change in the speed. You try that with a belt drive, you're going to slow your platter down may even get it to stop. So we have um, queuing up and down. Let's move to the end and uh, let's put on the repeat, demonstrate the repeat function. So not really trying to demo the sound quality here. The sound quality is, is uh, superb. Uh, but coming through my camera speakers, it's, it's only going to be so good. So really nice and <laughs> quick repeat. Now let's look at that pitch control. So it's been calibrated so that when it's set for the center, it's identical to the quartz lock. But you can vary it fast. Slow, and then kind of get it recentered. Put your quartz lock back on. Forty-five. Changes speeds very quickly. This were servo controlled, uh, both for uh, uh, in both directions, meaning for speeding up as well as slowing down. You can see that when we stop it. see that the platter breaks. Um, it has breaking to the platter, which is very nice because then you can uh, swap your records very quickly without having to, um, you know, stop the platter manually. But let's see, just, uh, let's just talk about a few of the things that I did and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, call it a day. So the, um, all the tone arm um, mechanism, the full tone arm mechanism, uh, below the tables, been disassembled, 
cleaned, lubricated, uh, adjusted, reassembled. All that's been done. The, uh, the control panel also completely disassembled, cleaned, lubricated, and adjusted. Uh, same with the motor. Uh, the um, power supply board has been recapped, meaning the electrolytic capacitors have been replaced with uh, new ones. I uh, use Nichicon um, FG. And uh, dust cover has been polished. So uh, I don't make the dust covers perfect, but it looks uh, very good. And then the unit itself has been uh, fully detailed inside and out. So the unit is, uh, is, is very nice. So thanks for watching and uh, um, have a great day. Bye-bye.